Looks like Glacier is first over the fence, though Blame seems to have punched through it. I actually don't think we've seen somebody do the initial go through with a punch. They've just kind of stacked the boxes or dug under, so interesting. Arrow exchange going on. Ah, uh, Naz is hurting. Ooh, and Seth's popped right back in. Henry looks like the first one to Pearl. He's already in the village. And Paz's his first death. Cilantro all the way over at Final Destination. So he portaled, uh, interpearled all the way over here. Gonna grab supplies. Possibly gonna see him hit the diamond quick with that efficiency gold pick. I was already having a little bit of PvP trouble. Bill's gonna try to run this before anyone gets a chance to test him. Yeah, I'm curious if he's gonna just start running it now or if he's gonna grab diamond and then come back. We've seen kind of both things done before. Get relatively safely to the gold chest room. Exactly. Chest piece in. Ethos also just portaled over. Light up. Yeah, again, very vet move there. Looks like uh, Swirlin is a designated PvPer. He's just shooting and getting shot. Gathering supplies from the Sphinx. We have five people all the way at the beginning still. We've got Paws on Paws and Seth set up to shoot. Uh, Swirlin and Lim Lim kind of returning fire. Swirlin's trying to get a different angle on him. And yeah, so they're just kind of... Oh, oh! We have a full safety rail bridge across the creeper fountain yeah i saw that PvP. that means they can't force anything at this spot if they need to Good. right so oh, far someone it... uh, started playing stall i saw that when blame disco has not even gone through here they've just been interpurling to get across for right now Ethos in the library, lighting things up. Grabbing the Sphinx eyes. Oh, I do hope he gets both of them. Just for symmetry's sake, thank you. I know! Although a lot of teams have just chosen to skip it entirely. It's like neither team is actually running Cyan yet. It's often one we see right away. I suspect Cilantro is coming down to get that diamond. All seems to be supplies to start. Both teams, which is interesting actually, because every other time we've seen someone at least try to get into Cyan Wall at the beginning. Yeah, we've seen a lot of rush strats, but both of these guys seem to be just really looking to long-term game. Lim Lim is in a little hut here in the village. Might be uh, looking to convert this into a sniper post. We've also seen this turn into cannon work, so interesting. And that is Cilantro collecting the diamond. Getting shot! Had to back off. He only got two. Should be able to regen and get the rest of it. Even make himself some armor and go back. Lim Lim uh, has come down to the mine. Okay, Donatello's using a bow. The internet is smiling right now. Both Nazbak and Swirlin are trying to pin Cilantro down. I actually almost TP Donatello. I had to stop and think about that a second. Oh, very nice. Cilantro making a little wall and then he can pluck out his diamond. Very fast thinking. Oh, one oh. of them went off. Lost a block. That hurts. Ethel Bill took the ladder fall method to get down there initially. Ethel's gone all the way up. Yeah, so... 
Got up to their walks. victory monument and back down. Perhaps just making sure everything is lit and, and prepped. Paws has set up a sniper post to protect Cyan, or is setting up a sniper post. He's digging out his holes now. Gathering blocks, I can't tell which. They have full bed workstations set up and very well lit inside the library building for the Blame Disco side. Cilantro may be looking to get their, uh, he's either gonna, looking to get their supplies or he's going to just build or get his diamond set up because he's right at the TNT box. Yeah, he's only grabbed a couple TNT. He does have four golden apples. Was, but he probably was trying to run Cyan. Swirla is shooting Seth while Seth is shooting a creeper. Looks like Seth won. Oh, we have Naz and Swirla set up at this corner to try and give them some uh, difficulty if they try Cyan. Oz is sticking back to hold down Cyan and the, actually they have the diamond blocks as well. Are they destroyed? Any... No, they were destroyed. Oh, they cannoned them. Very nice. We missed it. So someone went and cannoned the diamond supply. Doesn't look like they've actually done any block placement on Cyan, so neither team is, has ran it unless uh, Henry died before he placed anything. He's coming back. Looks like they were trying to run Final Destination, uh, Glacier was, um, but they were taken out. Like, probably by this cannon. Or arrow fire. Either or. And Etho is making sure to try to destroy the supplies, because there is diamond armor there. Very interesting, yeah. Henry coming back. Gonna try to get into this corner. It's not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. What a lovely hole you've made here, Ethan. Ender Pearl there, uh, two pieces of diamond equipment. Oh, did his cannon blow up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there was a creeper hanging out right there at the ledge, but I guess he decided not to not to upset the, the fanboys. I don't know. He didn't drop one his head. Your cannon's not blowing up, you're doing something wrong. Absolutely. Obviously those are good supplies there if we uh we don't want to lose those on Glacier PvP side. Ethan, pillaring up? Is he going to start on the hollow? I'm not exactly sure what Paws is doing here. He's lined the corner here with water. Perhaps trying to protect... This is a common spot to get bombed before the entrance of the of the village, but this is only over this one edge, so you can still make a huge hole. Getting a spawn down there now that night is approaching. Nice little cubby hole we've got down here, pause. Trying to do the full run back, back to final destination. Etho is making his way to the top of, of the hollow. Looks like they're going to try to get green wool very quickly. This is Henry's chance to get in. He's able to recover his diamond equipment, it looks. Yeah. Or he's full. <laughs> this is not a nice. This is an exposed place. He really. Ooh. It's like a uh, sword and bow fell off, but hopefully. Etho digging in to uh, hit the TNT in that cornering, so they're gonna have green shortly. I believe Seth is running Cyan. Yes, Seth is running Cyan right now. Creeper problems. Slow. Using water buckets. I'm not seeing... There are teammates over here, but I'm really not seeing him take a lot of damage. There are three people on Glacier PvP trying to take out 
Seth on Cyan. Oh, Linlin's ran away. He does have a full diamond. They look to run their own. Henry managed to get down to the first chamber, but it was full of creepers and actually backed out because he didn't have the stuff to kill them. So, really exposed. Yeah, sorting out his inventory. Looks like he's losing a bit of iron, too. Yeah, there's like Etho with the green, the green wall. wall. At Cyan. Seth is well armored and is progressing in Cyan. Has He's at the worst spot right now. Yeah, and Naz is shooting like crazy, but he's solo over here right now. At one point, they had two and three people barreling down on Seth. With the iron and diamond armor that he's got, he's he really can take quite a few hits. Although, some nasties down there. Zombies could have pushed him off, did not that. That was a moment. That was a clutch moment for Seth right there. Looks like he's gonna get some backup though. Oh. Lim is coming over. Ooh. Four creepers in a row. Oh. He might want to wall up and heal up. That's yeah, looks like that's exactly what he's doing. And a couple more creepers just ready to uh, to say hello. Cilantro Gamer is in full buttery goodness, and he is running Final Destination. He's almost all the way down, in fact. Taking out mobs like crazy. Not using the water bucket to push the mobs back like we've seen commonly. He's just fighting, blocking, and backing off, letting the creepers blow up and kill. Ooh! Almost got it. Got it from behind. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No judging. No judging. Looks like Henry has made it to a very similar position on Final Destination. He is fighting his way down the exact same wall room. Also not using the water buckets to push them back, just fighting. But he is really hurting and possibly going to die. Yeah, he's backing out. I can hear him munching on an apple. Not to access the black wall. Got the creeper spawner first. Very nice. Which is blame disco with black and green. And looks like Henry didn't make it through. Seth is right back to clearing out the creepers. Oh, oh, yeah. He's got three more waiting for him right here. Trying to keep their shot back. This is just a matter of patience and very careful. I'm not seeing any sh They're not firing us at at all. They they're all in the village. Three of Glacier have pushed forward to the village. Seth is left completely to his own devices to get Cyan. He's and just got to contain with the mobs. They will walk right out too. Oh wait, no, Serlin's trying to take some shots at him. Sure. Yep. Oh, he's only got one heart left, but he did survive that mess. And it is very dark on this lane. Three, three skeletons just all popped at once right here. Perhaps it was Swirlin's call that sent people to the village. Perhaps they just needed to come get themselves prepared. About to access the cyan wall. I was just on my way there. I don't know if they're gonna try a pass around. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, yep, gonna secure it. Blame Disco in possession of all three walls. He could probably run out of here because he's got backup now. I mean, Swirl or Lin Lim is in full diamond. Swirlin is going commando. But Cilantro looks like he's here to help shoot. Oh, he's gone ahead and dig down. Cilantro is digging down to the emergency uh, wall. cyan wall in case he doesn't make it out. Yep. So oh, we yeah, are he's almost tandem. there. He, yeah, very quickly. I thought he was gonna help shoot and protect, but now he just dug straight down. Now let's hope it doesn't <laughs> pop out like the diamond did. Got it. Got about as close as he could to that sucker. <laughs> and it doesn't look like Lim noticed. 
no. Lim is focusing on... Oh, just, interestingly. Yeah, Etho, and Seth is right there. Of course, Path Route's already done. Run back right now. They do. All members of Blame Disco have at least one wool on them. This is a victory run. Glacier PvP was not able, unless they do it real quick, to touch any fleecy boxes. Of course, the Victory Monument has already been pre-lit and prepped. Looks like Paws is uh, making his way up right now. No ladders, no stairs. Pillar up. Find your own way, suckers. Paws, place the green wall. Yep. Still's gonna have some creeper troubles. Oh! Yes, he does, and he's got the remaining two, so we're good to go. Pause taking aim at anybody below him he can, so that there's not going to be any problems at the monument. And Limlim pillaring up to try to help, but getting knocked off. Alright, there we go. 16 it's minutes official. and 28 seconds. That's faster than the last one, isn't it? No, the last one was 13. Oh, Just okay. under 13. So that would have been a record if we hadn't had the match earlier by the unambiguous subs. Very nice. Mod is called Auto Referee. It is at on radar.com slash r slash mc journey. Yes, exactly, Caleb. Would have been a record if not for two hours ago. That was fantastic. Really strong game, all pushed. I'm gonna go ahead and type up, see who wants to join us. Fantastic. Ref wants to know if we're all going to just join a lobby chat together. Uh, does everyone have pushed? Yeah, that would be the question. Is it going to be insane? I'm okay with it if you are. Nobody's really volunteering to join us. Hello. Hi. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Nicely done. Thank you. GG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good game, guys. Good game. Only really good game. Oh, they're not. <laughs> good game. <laughs> good game. Oh my god. Good game. Yeah. yeah, we weren't expecting that. We were not ready. Yeah. How many? How, did you have any of the walls? No, I was going for the third one, but like I threw an ender pearl in, but it hit one of the mobs. Like I hit a creeper and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? No. Ouch. Agony. Yeah. I've, I've had my fair share of problems with Ender Pearls too, so. <laughs> I can understand that. Yeah. Oh my god. Who the, we had the gold armor? Jesus. That was still. That was yeah. Yeah. I, I, I kept on hitting him. Uh, I was waiting for him to die, but he wouldn't <gasps> die. I, uh, when I got into the dungeon, I actually got down to half a heart on my own volition and nearly. Uh, yeah. Died? Damn. Yeah. Nearly, threw, nearly threw up, actually, but, uh, nearly Because <laughs> <laughs> when you were running back with the wool, I, I'm pretty sure I hit you. I, like, kept on hitting you, and you were dying. And then we had Naz yeah. on you as well. The gold armor is pretty tough, and I pride myself in being able to dodge archery pretty well. <laughs> Did, uh, any of your oh. diamond armor fall over when I killed you at third? Henry did it. Uh, yeah. What? My, um, er, my pants and my Henry. boots fell off. Yeah, my pants and my nice. boots fell off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, Etho was trying to blow up your guys' diamond before you guys got to it, but he was, I guess, just short. I was like 10 I seconds too slow. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I've already got it, so. And then you blew yourself up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. I was low on health. Naz was trying to do that uh. and he used Etho's cannon to do it. Dew and I saw the cannon hole that we had missed on the diamond, but we had missed that they'd already grabbed it, so we assumed you blew it up. So it was 
missed it by that much moment. <laughs> yeah, well, we missed it by that much too. <laughs> Do you guys have two sets of diamond armor? No. No, actually, like I said, we lost, uh, well, by we, I'm gonna say we, so it makes me look better. <laughs> <laughs> we, we <clears throat> me, uh, I lost, uh, two of the diamond, one of them just fell off just cause I Oh yeah, got we, we got that. Moment. We, we caught the that. One, the other one I lost because, uh, I had to take a risk that it would not fall off the edge when I mined it, and it did. We were trying to did shoot you, you. That did was... you guys even Wait, think of the mine? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, not worth the time. we, we thought about it, but yeah, we decided it just wasn't worth it. The amount of time it took to go down there. So this is the first time we've seen the team Ender Pearl all the way over to final destination. Were you going to attempt to run really? it if uh, things went well, or was that part of your whole strategy? Uh, my my strategy. I'm the one who Ender Pearls across, and uh, I basically go over there. I torch up the entire backside of the map, and uh, get the diamond, make the diamond armor for Seth, who runs the second wool, and then I put on whatever scraps of armor are left and do the third. Yeah, I think we have seen it, but uh, not very often at all. It was really, really great just to see that the rush on, on all fronts. But it was, both teams didn't seem to have, you both actually seem to be kind of calculated, going very steadily. Like we saw Glacier set up their full safety rail bridge. We've never seen that. <laughs> we are not going to be shot off at the Creeper Fountain. So that was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Both teams didn't start with heavy PvP, which is something we've seen most of the other teams do. Oh, Falls was a our us strategy installed. is yeah, our strategy is pretty PVE focused. We really try to just hammer out the wool as quickly as possible. Falls is moment. pretty much our only dedicated harass. A good moment where Seth was making one of the last turns on Cyan Wool. He hit, he gets down there. There's two people shooting him from above, and there's like four yeah. creepers down there. It was hilarious yeah. to watch. Yeah, the little Congo <laughs> line coming right at your face. Yeah. And you're caught on fire, and you're like, yep, that's Efer. That was me, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, th this wall, like, it's super easy to block yourself in on this wall, and I was basically just kind of waiting for Etho or Cilantro to come uh, give me sort of backup so that he would pressure you guys to stop shooting me. But then with the creepers there, it was also a bit awkward. But uh, you're kind of, like, around a corner here so that helps a lot with the creepers so and i was wearing good armor too uh, i was basically just i knew that once i had backup i could take on all the creepers but it just took a while for backup to show up but actually then you guys stopped shooting at me so yeah. it worked out fine Mm. Yeah, it was kind of like this little chain. We saw Do actually called it right before you blocked yourself in. She's like, oh, now would be a good time to, and there it is, block yeah. yourself in. <laughs> and then we we just commented, and there's Ethel. Looks like he's going to get some backup. Oh, wait, they're leaving. Okay, they're free. He's, he can run it. Yeah. And then, and then we come back. The Too timing late. ended up working well at the second wool because I had just finished all the stuff at the third wool and was ready to start helping do other things when Seth said, okay, the pass around is ready. All right, well, I'll go grab it. Let's win that. Yeah. <laughs> our timing, our timing worked out pretty well. Yeah, I was surprised how well that worked, because usually teams seem to be getting the cyan wool first. Try to rush it, but I guess you've been locked down there in the past. Yeah, I mean, it, we found that if we had people shooting, you know, with bows and arrows, and then and cannons, and then cannoning if, if they entrenched themselves, that we could just force our way through second wool. So we just wanted to get like get the other wolves quick because they are generally pretty quick if you if you can do it right and and then force our way through on the second once we had all the supplies we needed yeah now, i didn't see you guys do uh the hollow wool the first one uh did you use the explosion technique or did you light up each one of the now we use the explosion technique yeah ether pillared up hey And, and a very <laughs> handsome man, just to throw that out there. <laughs> Cilantro, Make give me a... Uh, actually, I don't remember the name uh, who, who ran it both sides when you ran the final destination. Neither one of you guys used the water buckets to keep the mobs back. You I both just went down the there. Water bucket. <laughs> well, oh, did you really? Well, I was going to tell you how, how awesome <laughs> yes. you were bobbing yeah. and weaving and dodging down there. It's the entire... Uh, it's the entire crux of my strategy, and I forgot. <laughs> I grabbed 
grabbed the water bucket, and then I made the infinite water source, and then I just put both of the uh, buckets away. He was really proud of that strategy, too. <laughs> yeah, because so originally, my original strategy was the lava and a water bucket. Lava on the side where the, um, the spider spawner is, and then water on the other side. And then I and realized then... that was redundant, and just use a single water bucket, and that would take care of the whole thing. Except it only works if you actually have a water bucket with you. I think Henry had some similar problems where his water bucket yes. uh, was sort of left where Etho killed him the first time. He was complaining about he didn't have a water bucket. I think he, he actually had to go back out after getting to the first uh, chamber. Yeah, after I'm really exposed. I think, I think he was okay by not having any PvP fire, but it could have been a lot different. Yeah, all All of my uh, practice in, you know, uh, super hostile maps and all that kind of stuff really helps, and that's one of the reasons I decided to do some of the dungeon crawling, is because uh, I'm really rusty on the PvP portion. I can tackle dungeons pretty well. Yeah. We were practicing, and I was versing Naz, and he was in Rise and Fall, and I was trying to do it to Seth Wing. Um, I got him cornered, and every time he would try to get out, I would always shoot him. And he would just never get out. And then, he just and then you damage. missed, and then I ran. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I bet you. Yeah. It was really a beautiful match for both sides, and we did know, uh, you guys, it was your first official kind of race for the real tournament yeah. match. What did you guys think of the experience, besides being, you know, under pressure with the big blame disco team? Um, yeah, it was really fun, actually. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Like, yeah. I want to do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Great fun. Yeah. Right, we had fun, too. Yeah, well, thanks I, for playing, I, guys. I was kind of stuck here in the in the in one of the crevices, kind of blocked myself in. And I don't know, I might have to edit something in for the video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, High speed and music. No, that was that was quite fun. It's it's really intense. You know, your heart starts pounding when the match starts. All it, is. it seems like forever. Is wool to climb back up? <laughs> I I just <laughs> noticed that now actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wool as my material for that. <laughs> but good thing yeah, you didn't I, run out. I ran out of ladders and I was like, I need a block, and then I missed and Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought you were just, you know, extra safe placements. I mean, yeah, that's what I was doing. I was trying to do it so I wouldn't... Uh, we're well, just making mean, sure. <laughs> right. In case yeah. Cilantro didn't get the pass around done. It was, right. it was set. Yeah. It was backup. It was, it was a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very smoothly done. It sounds like it was ran without a hitch, guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it did go pretty well. It basically, I think basically everything went to plan. You know, there were a couple small places where we had to improvise. I've never encountered mobs here at, at the spawner here before. Uh, so that was new to me, but I found it to be pretty easy just because there's this corner here that you can kind of hide behind to stop the creepers from exploding. I'm curious about this uh, water on the little angle here across from Cyan Wall. It's my sniper den, so if people try and blow it up, at least I'll be somewhat safe. Uh. Ah, that's Wait, why did, just the front area. Get an arrow into there and hit you? You hit me once in there, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I hit you. I'm like, oh, that was a nice shot. I like ran around a corner. Oh, really? And we didn't lose the irony that the person with Donatello skin is using a bow. Yes, <laughs> that was a moment for sure. Uh, yeah, okay, more or less. So, did you guys go down into the mines? Yeah. yeah. What did oh, you grab side. in there? Diamonds, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's never a good feeling. Yeah. I think that happens a lot more on this map than on other maps because with a with a symmetric lane, you're like usually you're in the same 
the same sort of game plan as the other team. So you're kind of in the same areas, but with this one, you have to be a little bit more intentional about finding the yeah. other team. And the ender pearls, man. <laughs> you lose yeah. people so easily with those. Yeah, not to mention getting sandwiched between you know the teammate, your your opponents on both lanes here. That's that's going oh, to play a lot. Like that. Uh, that that's possible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've had some very hotly contested corners where people were like, "No fair, coming and going." There's people shooting, so we have really interesting choices on this map. Yeah. I noticed uh, somebody had walked into the void lane a number of times. Was that? Yeah, just that, was me. that was me. That was me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were those pretty Five serious or not? No. Um. um one of the Once times I think it was. In by accident. <laughs> yeah, that was He's me. That bad. <laughs> this Someone is the was... terrible. Like, no, it's the boy. Because Paws was <laughs> shooting him, and he's like, "Shit, get back here, Lim. He's pressure." And then he just walks off by accident. <laughs> 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 no, Lim, don't go back there. Because well, you know, the good news is, is I'm not getting shot at anymore. At the start, we placed sand blocks to get over instead of breaking the fence, and when I. You guys are cut out and placed. We've lost him. This is a really <laughs> wide bridge. This is the first time I'm seeing this bridge. <laughs> Who made this bridge? The one that Paz built? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know why. There's no pressure at the second wall, so I was like, I'm just going to build a bridge. Yeah, that why actually, not build one? It actually helped a lot, too, because I actually did get shot when I was running across it, and if it hadn't yeah, yeah. been wider, I would have fell off. Well, also, you can just put a backstop, right? You make it two wide instead of three. Why is your bridge so wide? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's That's bridge wide is better. He gets a gold star for putting a torch on it. That's true. Oh, I, I hit you. I hit someone. One of us hit you when you were getting the wool back in that final bit, and you stayed on the bridge. Yep. That made me so bad. I think there's points for style on this bridge. All the way around. But it's not as it's, it's not perfectly. It's not. Lined up with I noticed. Yeah. I it. noticed. She had to point it out. I was trying to be quiet and be polite about it. We must fix this. We must epically degrief this. We also have one block more on one side than the other. Just saying. Why is my bridge a hot I can't topic? Actually... <laughs> Help! I can't place block. Your bridge I, I was beautiful. Like was. Okay, I'm happier now. <laughs> Much, much. But this is not necessarily fully compliant with uh, construction laws because it's easy to fall off into the Cooper Fountain. Oh, here we go. It's waffle. You, if you're jumping, you can get hit off though. There we go. It's there we go. If you're jumping. So wait, who was it that was running along the bridge with one with the two wolves? Uh, that was Cilantro. 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 Yeah. Uh, he was the one with the gold armor. Right? In the gold. Yeah. I would have been an iron, except I had uh, had to sacrifice my iron for Seth because I was an idiot. It worked out <laughs> yeah. okay. That's fine. Oh, gee, the dude can put TNT wherever she wants. Did you not see the last match? <laughs> I w that was that was a demonstration. Yes, that was a demonstration, Ooh, and I did get to push the buttons. I like it. Enchanted diamond armor. Is there actually an enchanting station somewhere on this map? Yeah. yeah. Yes, there's yeah. an enchanting table in the big house. Yeah, we had it. Like, we had it it's like, I, I mean, I could have used it, but I figure I should just go for the dungeon rather than spending the time on it. It's pretty handy for people afterwards, but it's it's hard to justify the time. Now we gotta patch all the holes. When I was mining the dumb door, you get XP, so I'm like, why not enchant it? Yeah, it just takes a little bit of extra time. Is all. Yeah. H have we devolved into flarping? That's, that's what all Minecraft always devolves into. You have to repair yes. the map for the next match. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They get a pre-made awesome bridge. That's Send awesome. in the repair crew. Yeah. That's how it works. It's just like Fraggle Rock where the, the they're the fraggles that eat everything. And then the dozers are the ones that build it back up in the meantime. But who's the one with the uh, the Hawaiian shirt? Okay, I guess um, I've just completely... That's, that's, that's... You lost, you lost me. No, I know, it, I know. It. I actually have the entire Fraggle Rock song going through my head right now. Thank you so much, dude. Totally win today, then. <sighs> Indeed. 
All right, now that we've lost all the guys, we get it. That's all that matters. Um, is there anything else you all want to say to each other besides it was a great game? Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Yep. <laughs> I got a good time. They didn't listen. I said, besides, it's a great game. All right, never mind. See I guys. said other stuff. <laughs> Points. All right. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Have a good evening, everyone. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for playing, everyone. See you guys. See ya. Cheers.